<laughs> Back in the northeast and still making people laugh, Lee Ridley shot to fame at the weekend when he appeared on Britain's Got Talent. I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. Lee lost his speech after developing cerebral palsy at six months old, but he doesn't need a voice to make people laugh. I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform four is the 1252 service to London King's Cross. It went better than I ever expected. I didn't really know how my comedy would go down with the Britain's Got Talent audience, so I was pretty nervous. But it went really well. And the standing ovation took my breath away. <laughs> Lee's already well known within the comedy industry. He's been performing as the lost voice guy for six years. There's so few disabled comedians on the circuit. It's incredible to have this whole wealth of comedy that nobody else can do, can touch, that it would be basically inappropriate if anyone did. And we've got all of this in Lee. One disability charity says Lee's confident performance will inspire others. We know that. Many disabled people feel awkward around disability. Over a third of non disabled people have avoided talking to a disabled person. So the way that Lee uses comedy is really good to break down negative attitudes, awkwardness towards disability to help improve attitudes towards disabled people. I don't think we feel comfortable laughing about things that we don't quite understand. And I think it's important for people to realize that I'm just like anyone else and that disabled people are allowed a sense of humour. Lee finds out next month whether or not he's made it to the semi-finals, but Simon Cowell has already said he wants to work with Lee whatever the outcome, and Lee plans to hold him to his word. Jessica Nevin, ITV News.